Okay, here's how to set up your Google Business Profile. If you just go into Google and make sure that you're logged into the correct email account in the top right corner, go um, search for My Business in a Google Chrome tab, and it should be the first result that comes up. And then go to Sign In. And type in your business name. So you'll say you can create a business with this name. Create a business with this name, business category. Um, and review the terms of service and privacy policy. Then click next. Do you want to add a location? For me, I'm an online business, so no. And where do you serve your customers? Now you can put um, online or just leave it blank. What region? And what contact details do you want to show your customers? So we'll put our website. And you don't have to add your phone number if you don't want to. Now this is an important step with um, Google. So you need to enter your mailing address. So even if you don't have a physical address where you hold your business, you still need to verify your business online. So pop in your actual address. And once you've done that, it will start to verify. Then it will say you're now verified and you should actually receive in the mail a physical postcard from business that you then come back in and you enter those details into your Google business profile um, to verify that your location is where it is. Then you're going to see that it adds your business hours. Now for me, we'll just put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can do your own hours however you like. I'm just going to put nine till six for every day, even though I work for various businesses during that time, it still means that if someone wants to call me, they can answer, they can um, see that I'm available. Oops. Add messaging. Now you can let customers message your business on Google for free if you want. Um, I'm gonna click no for now because I'd like them to contact me through my other platform. So usually email or to book a Calendly call, something like that. Now this is where it gets important. So this is where you want to add your business description. You can get really creative and add as much information as you can in that 750 character limit so that people can see what you do. And this is going to help you with your SEO as well and people to helping people find your business. Once you've added all of your information, click next. And then you can select photos for your business as well. Now for now, I'm not going to add any photos, but this is a really great way to interact with your customers, especially if you have a bricks and mortar business. For now, I'm just going to click skip. Now you can also claim an advertising credit. Sure, why not? <laughs> you can look at that later. And then your ads will be visible once you're verified. So that needs to come through that little postcard that I mentioned. And you can see now Laura Love Art Development, you've now got this cheat sheet window here of your business on Google where you can view your profile, you can see what um, your performance and your metrics are, um, create Q&A, edit products, um, and I would, I would recommend going through and adding your details for all of those areas um, as you go along. But you can see here there's also some suggested um, updates that you can make for your clients. And then you can see other areas in Google that are helping you show up on um, the Google search. That's it.